So we've done visualization as mental practice, so mental walkthroughs. Now we're going to be doing for a different purpose, which is managing emotions and managing our emotional state. So the first thing is that the same tools that we've used before, you know, so um, visualizing can be used for other purposes. Um, a few of the ones we're going to do now are getting in the zone to achieve peak performance. Um, so just like you practiced, you did a mental practice of getting through a day, you know, and then trading properly and stuff. Now we're going to do mental practice of getting in the zone. The second is managing our emotional states. Um, and the third is dialing down our emotions whilst in the market. Uh, notice I said dialing down, not turning off. Um, we'll get into why that is. Um, these are tools, again, that are used in the sports and the therapy world, and we've modified them heavily for our purposes. Um, I think the most important one, actually, or the most, uh, the one that is most popular is this tool for getting in the zone. Um, that's used for, like, every athlete uses that. And it's really, it's really critical because if you're an athlete and, you know, you, you have to go in a very short period of time from, you know, warm up to peak performance, you know, you need a tool like that. Um, and that is actually very helpful for getting back in the game or getting your head sort of focused if you have something very distracting. So to your question from, from last time. So the first is a peak performance state. We're going to learn to access the peak performance state um, on command. So the first thing is we want to relax like we've always been doing for every exercise and just you know, get all loose. And then we want to reconnect with an experience of peak performance from the past. Um, it could be from sports or playing a game or, some, or something where you know, they all have the same characteristics where you get, you know, time seems to stand still. Um, you get that tunnel vision, you get really absorbed, focused, um, things kind of seem effortless. Uh, but that, for each of us, the, the exact details of that experience can be different. But We've all experienced this in some context or another. Um, but go and find that experience of peak performance. Go and live in it. Go in and feel it. What did you see? What did you feel? What did you hear? Um, and it's really important to notice you could not have heard anything, right? For instance, you had tunnel vision. You, know, you were so in the zone and focused that you blocked out everything. That's great. That's what we want. So, um, so don't. If it, it's not strange, don't find it curious if you didn't hear anything or you didn't feel anything, right? Um, but you know, for each of us, the experience will be a little bit different. But again, we want to find that state where we are most kind of engaged, involved, focused, um, at command. 